This is Danny with Quad Legs, and we're going to reconfigure the front arm. And uh, let's get busy. These are our new prototype motor mounts. And our, all of our prototypes, we 3D print the items. We do some testing and then we'll uh, have molds made and these are injected or Injection molded. And right now these are the uh, 3D printed parts for testing. So far, incredibly good. It works very, very well. I'm going to try them all. That's how I'm thinking. Now we just took this all the way off. There we go. Put that back on. And the way we have these mounts Works out pretty good. You can just take them out and put them right back in. Now we'll hook this back up. Let's see if we can get my fingers on there. Always a tight fit. Let's do this. Make this easier to put back in. Let's just do this. Much easier. With these mounts, this works out real easy. I'll just do this number. Push this in place. And now we'll fit this together. There we go. Make sure no wires are pinching. Let me go ahead and put these on temporarily. Or, yes, temporarily. We just want to make sure that we don't, you know, tear any of the wires off. It looks like we're in good shape. So you want to be real careful with this. Then we'll, you know, put wire ties on and trim that up in a minute. But right now we'll go ahead and 
finish putting these screws back. So you can see it goes really fast. Just take all the screws off on the front. And these two will come off. The camera comes right off. And you see it. The way we have this set up is real easy to get it off. And here we're going to be changing our sweat back to, I guess you call it normal. <laughs> the sweat back flies well. It's not as uh, stable. So the neat thing about, you know, quad lugs is that you can try different things. So, uh, depending on how you cut the arms, um, you can test different things out. Like I said, it flew pretty good, but it was not quite as stable, for sure. Even these up. And make sure they're pretty even. Looks okay to me. Looks pretty good. These are laser cut and you can see the wood wasn't protected on the bottom. Normally when we cut these, you know, we have tape on the bottom to not get that. And the setting could be a little bit off. You know, we're just done just for trial. But you could definitely cut these out on a band saw. And that's normally how it's, again, how it starts out. You know, it's all cut. Uh, a configuration or a design out on my little band saw and uh, try a few different things and after I get a little bit more serious about it then you know I'll um, set something up in the computer and do a uh, laser cut it this is it this is putting it back on as I guess you would call it the a conventional. I may be off a little bit on that, but I don't think so. Anyway, I just need to put these screws back on here, and then the uh, props. So let me get that done. We have the motor mounts back installed there. So only let's see, let's get us a couple of tie straps. Pick up my mess. <laughs> so actual time doing this uh, was about I don't know eight minutes, seven minutes. Straighten this up. And the next thing we need to do is, you know, of course, put our props back on. And she's done. And so now we have, I 
guess you call it a standard configuration. Super easy to do. And of course, uh, when you have the straight arms, it's even easier to do. It's, you don't have to take these screws out. You just take these two and slides out. Of course, the motors. And uh, it slides out, slides back in and replace your arm. No big deal. It's pretty easy to do. And there you go. This is Daniel Carl Lux. We'll see you next time.